हेलो क्लास नाइन टुडे आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर टू इज रोल ऑफ कायद आजम इन मेकिंग ऑफ पाकिस्तान इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल लर्न दैट वट वर द सर्विस ऑफ कायद आजम इन द मेकिंग ऑफ पाकिस्तान और ड्यूरिंग द मूवमेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान और बिफोर द मूवमेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान सो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्राम द ईयर नाइनटीन सिक्सटीन Uh, under lucknow pact he got right of separate electorate he united both nations and got the title ambassador of peace so students in 1916 he uh, united both the nation on one point that the both nations must have their separate elections so both the nations united on this point and uh, they got the right of separate electorate and due to this uh, uh, service or due to this act qaid azam was given the title of ambassador of peace by the people in 1913 he demanded new constitutional reforms students uh, he want few reforms few changes in uh, uh, in the constitution of that time so he demanded for new reforms in 1919 he uh, his efforts for the montague champs for reforms are of great significance once again in 1919 he demanded uh, changes reforms in in the constitution of that time and uh, uh, that demand was of great significance and it, uh, that was very important for the people In 1927 he tried to unite with the congress but it could not be fulfilled so students in 1927 qaid azam tried to be united with congress he he wanted uh, favors or he wanted uh, that uh, muslim league or the muslims and the hindus work together or uh, f- uh, f- fight against the congress and uh, got separation unitedly but congress uh, did not uh, have a uh, soft corner for the muslims that's why uh, effort of qaid azam was not fulfilled and he uh, it was not successful in 1928 he rejected the nehru report so students in 1928 mr nehru uh, gave some uh, points or uh, Uh, in a report uh, and uh, that report was not in favor of muslim so qaid azam rejected that report and in 1928 in reply of that report of mr nehru in 1928 in that reply in that answer he gave another uh, report or we can say that were the 14 points and we call them in urdu qaid e azam ke 14 nakat and these are very important till now so in 1929 he gave his 14 points which determine the goal of the muslims and the, in these 14 points uh, the future of the muslim was mentioned clearly in 1935 to 36 he guided the freedom movement and injected new life in the dead body of muslim league so students from 35 to 36 that was one year in which qaid azam worked very hard and uh, uh, with his speeches with his work with his uh, sayings he injected a new life in the dead body of muslim league he gave them new ideas he gave them a new life he gave it a new path to uh, to reach the destination qaid azam used his foresight faced all the conspiracies and compelled the congress to resign from ministries in 1939 so qaid azam uh, uh, faced all the conspiracies made by the congress he had he was a foresighted person and uh, he faced each and every conspiracies each and every uh, uh, things that were uh, done by the congress and he uh, f- uh, fight or face everything bravely and he gave reply of each and everything 
properly or in a very good way and uh, he made the congress to resign from their seats from their ministries in 1939 and when congress or the member of congress resigned from their seats uh, qaida azam announced to uh, celebrate that day and that day was called day of deliverance and uh, that was uh, that uh, they celebrated that day as a thanksgiving day when the uh, congress left their seats or they resigned from their seats at mento park in his address he explained the two nation theory so student uh, we already knew it very well that uh, in 1940 when uh, resolution day uh, uh, we are we celebrate resolution day on every 23rd of march and in that day at minto park ikbal park uh, every uh, our leaders gathered there and they demanded for a separate uh, country and uh, in that uh, uh, session qaid e azam gave two nations theory that uh, hindus and the muslims are not one or united nation they are two uh, they are uh, two separate nations they uh, they are different in each and every aspect of life and uh, so that two nation theory became the basis of pakistan so the this theory set a path for the destination of the muslims and it was due to qaid e azam from 1940 to 45 he made many efforts for the reconciliation between government and political parties among them crips mission jina gandhi talks and simla Conf- uh, conference are worth mention so students from year 40 to 45 lahore resolution was passed in 40 and after uh, 40 1940 to 45 and during 5 years qaid e azam made a lot of efforts he tried to uh, make the government and political parties to sit together and to talk or to reconciliate on this point then uh, crips mission is before us uh, we have already learned we have already read it and uh, jina gandhi talks and simla conference or in all these things he made government and political parties and congress and muslim league to reconciliate to talk positively so that they can get their destination it was fruit of his efforts that the muslim league met with success in 1945 to 46 election he made all the conspiracies of the hindus and the british unsuccessful so uh, we have learned uh, in the elections of 1945 and then in 46 qaid e azam made country wide tours he made the people to vote for their uh, to vote for their separate country because these elections uh, were the base to get uh, a separate country so he toured worldwide uh, his uh, his addresses made the people to vote for their party to vote for muslim league or for, to vote for their leader and uh, he faced uh, every conspiracies made by hindus and the british and he made every conspiracies failed and uh, uh, became successful in these elections they got the seats uh, which were desired for the, for their success and at last lord mount beaton presented third june plan and pakistan came into being on 14th august 1947 so student it was the fruit of qaid e azam's efforts it was the fruit of qaid e azam work uh, whatever he has uh, done whatever uh, services he had made that lord mount beaton was compelled to present his third june plan and this plan was to separate the muslim countries and hindus communities Uh, and to separate both countries so it was plan and we have already read and learnt about this plan and you know it very well what was the 3 june plan 1947 and uh, then pakistan came into being on 14th august 1947 and we should thankful for qaid e azam for all his efforts for all his services thank you so much